Mojave is a very interesting stop on our journey. That's uh, we first take our bathroom break. I'll go ahead and top off the car, get a diet Red Bull. We go right down the road, let the dogs do their business. But Mojave, it's not the most memorable place in the world. Or I, I don't want to. Well, it is memorable because we're talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, for the people that go, it's kind of like Edna. I mean, if you're not from there, you probably don't get it. It's not even near Edna. But you know what I'm saying. There's like a couple of gas stations and a lot of stores that have been shut down. But people there are just a little bit different. Like that guy, when you asked about those gimmick shades at that part store, and he says, we ain't got it. Or if it ain't on the shelf, we ain't got it. Yeah. That kind of attitude. Dude, one time we was getting up. I don't know if you remember this. I was sitting there gassing up. I looked right beside me, and the dude's on the other side to pump, and he's sitting there smoking a cigarette while he's gassing his damn vehicle up. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> he just looked at me like I was you know, just some idiot. I was like, maybe you don't value your life very much, but I value mine. I have precious cargo in my Yukon XL in the name of two dogs and my illustrious wife. Dude's smoking a cigarette while he's gassing his shit up. thing that you happened to you know, upon in Mojave was when you pulled into the gas station and the guy pulled in at the same time you did. Oh, man, let's talk a little bit of <laughs> etiquette here. Man, there's about six pumps out there and we pull in and me and this guy is going for the same gas pump. And I'm in a Yukon XL and he's in a damn Prius. Some bitches don't even hardly use no gasoline. <laughs> and I, I had to jump on him. But because I was in a courteous mood, I said, all right, I'll let baby brother in there and let him get some electricity slash gas in his car. And I'll go over to the other side. Fuck it. So I pulled over there, gassed my vehicle up, and he proceeded to go inside, get a bag of chips and a monster energy drink. And hell, by the time we got finished doing our business, I went in there and took a leak and got a damn Red Bull. He was still out there fiddle-fucking around his Prius, and he never did gas up. No, he just took the stall. So the point to the story is, when you go to a store or a gas station, and there's many other parking spots available, don't pull up to the pump if you ain't going to get no juice. Pull up to one of the regular parking spots, park at the damn uh, parking spot, and then go in the store, and don't hog up the damn filling station. You remember that last time we was in the RV? was down in Van Horn, Texas. Yep. This is when Van Horn really started blowing up. And that girl was out there. She was filling up her damn car with gasoline. She had a dog. And instead of taking the dog out to the bathroom after she gassed up and moved her car away from the fuel station so other people could use it because this son bitch this was busy. Instead of doing that, she took her dog out for a damn walk. She, we were on a sandwich break. She was out there for 15 damn minutes. People coming in out of there, no one could use that gas pump because she was too con she was too inconsiderate to move her shit so other people could use the pump. Then, after she loads her dog up, go ahead. <laughs> she proceeded to get the lint roller out to take all the dog hair off of her spandex pants. She lint rolling the <laughs> damn dog, her seats, and then her pants Yeah. before she gets on the road. And, and I'm just sitting there in disbelief. I can't believe anybody so got dang stupid that they just stay there and park out right in front of the goddamn gas pump. There, is, there should be a time limit on your, on your space. Here's another one for you. We was uh, on the way up here, and when you're running 395 uh, from Cali to get into Nevada, sometimes it goes down into a single lane. Here's some etiquette for you. Drive and tip. Okay, when you're in a single lane, it says passing lane two miles ahead. If you ain't going to go fast, get your shit and get in the right <laughs> lane. And if you're going to stay in the left lane, jump on the damn gas pedal and get out the damn way because we're coming through. There'd be a daisy chain of us there, and that person would get over to the right lane. They would do their due diligence, Kristen. Stay with me here. And all of a sudden, the first the car in front just wants to meander past. <laughs> You can't meander past because there's only a certain allotted amount of distance for everybody to get past. And once you pass, get your ass out of the way. Go right so we can haul ass and get behind, get past your slow ass. <laughs> does that make sense, Kristen? Of Is it so it hard? Does. I know. It just bothers me. It's a very <laughs> simple uh, protocol.